in the current context of uh, global expansion of vaccine markets and its implications on national immunization policies calls for an evidence based national vaccine policy uh, today and each country needs it so um, and if you look at the background vaccines uh, science policy the background uh, in the of vaccine scenario national health security is closely linked to self reliance in vaccines and drugs vaccines are unlike curative medicine given to healthy people and all infants so you must need a stronger justification uh, even a stronger economic justification as well as a stronger justification for its need the only justification uh, for vaccination is disease burden recommended by who higher the better more than 2% once this logic is skipped to allow one vaccine every other vaccine would follow the suit currently in indian uh, national immunization program there are six vaccines uh, recently hepatitis b is also included and at the same time in our vaccines our markets are flooded with many expensive and new combination vaccines and uh, indian vaccine market is huge and world vaccine market is uh, much bigger dominated by few multinational uh, companies Uh, liberalization globalization and aid politics are expanding our vaccine markets taking all vaccines in india needs 27 uh, doctor visits and around rupees 30 per thousand per child in uh, less than in 5 years i mean less than 5 year old children so the key policy question is how many vaccines are adequate to prevent how many deaths at what cost Uh, a complex uh, series of vaccination decisions are dependent on all these local factors uh, but they are not being considered because of the uh, uh, market uh, trends as a result uh, it led to in india it led to the situation of organization of uh, sorry primary vaccines uh, which is also i mean I, i don't want to go into the details otherwise i won't manage time you can ask me later for details and led to the attenuation of public sector in fact around 23 public sector units have been uh, uh, catering to the immunization needs of the country you know i mean distributed in all over the uh, in many states of the country but um, around 18 uh, public sector units were closed down by 2008 only five remain and in out of five in 2008 three public sector uh, vaccine units which caters to 80% of uh, universal immunization program were also closed down uh, on the uh, i mean um, uh, pretext the, uh, not pretext alleging that they are not gmp compliant and then uh, right now only two vaccine public sector units are functioning hafkin institute and uh, in this uh, this uh, what is this himal logical limited hyderabad based company any time they will also be closed soon so there is no um, policy support for the public sector uh, and this is been done at the cost of uh, i mean at uh, for the profit of private sector and uh, public sector have been uh, how was killed as a result after the closure of these units 17 states around 11 states reported shortages of uh, all uip vaccines and uh, the recent data also indicates increased uh, deaths and adverse effects due to vaccines and the pri- if you look at this table the prices of vaccines are affordable by uh, produced by public sector private sector produces uh, i mean expensive uh, vaccines and they are more interested in new vaccines Uh, the case of hepatitis is a very good example and also the um, okay in the uh, academies like indian academy of uh, pediatrics also recommends uh, a series of new vaccines to be introduced in the national immunization program uh, as pre- preferably in combinations and these are the vaccines in um, national mark i mean in our country these are the list of combination vaccines in uh, uh, international market and if you look at this uh, here i want to stop and i would like to 
concentrate the focus the debate on combination vaccines keeping in view of the recent debate on pentavalent uh, vaccine introduction in national immunization program of india if uh, the uh, i want to concentrate on this uh, case uh, i mean on a pentavalent vaccine because the entire official uh, discourse on pentavalent vaccine is centered around supply push argument rather than the demand pull argument including donors and pharmaceutical uh, and international agencies this is true for all new vaccines and the lack of disease but then data cannot be compensated uh, by supply push argument this is the fundamental contradiction that is plaguing all the new vaccine introductions in our in our uh, I mean immunization program including pentavalent vaccine the pentavalent vaccine is a test case because whether one likes it or not once it is introduced i mean the debate whatever implication i mean outcome will be it is it will also decide the fate of all other combination vaccines future of combination vaccines now here i would like to point out in three main issues uh, i mean questions we need to ask in the uh, look at it and see what are the politics behind this uh, i mean combination vaccine push the first question if you look at this uh, tables i mean uh, this uh, any uh, vaccines no they they are these are combination of one vaccine under universal uh, immunization program another uh, non uh, uh, uip vaccine or a new vaccine why the com this combination why there is no combination of one uip vaccine with another uip vaccine or a combination of all non uip vaccines that is not the case is it because lack of demand demand pull for individual new vaccines is sought to be covered up by the uip vaccines that enjoy higher legitimacy or uh, actually um, i mean it is the other way around actually combination vaccines are the means by which new vaccines are gaining backdoor entry through uip capital market by riding piggy back on opv dpt measles etc so if a new vaccine can stand on its own merits especially epidemiological merits merits why does it need a big piggy back ride that is the first question we need to uh, answer or look at it with a evidence the second thing is uh, they are not uh, the combination of vaccines uh, prices are very high you basically add vaccines but multiply pr prices if a combination is uh, vaccine is nothing more than a cocktail a combination vaccine is basically you are adding various antigens in a vial it is not a multivalent vaccine designed genetically engineered which has a technological advantage if your price is higher maybe then it is justified to recover the cost of making it if there is it is technologically superior but it is not and also in fact it should be cheaper because uh, you can save the costs on um, uh, on distribution packaging uh, marketing logistics all this cost can be saved and actually it should be much cheaper than the all individual uh, components of that uh, pentavalent vaccine combined so it is not made for value addition but for the benefit of the public but not for, uh, not for the benefit of the public another uh, in, uh, interesting point is um, the combination vaccines are uh, these combinations are uh, market gmix or um, iprg mix that give no additional health benefits rather than their individual components added in the vaccines it is like um, uh, the combination vaccines are driven by the same motive as the drug formulations uh, happen when two individual drugs are about to uh, uh, patents of product patents of two individual drugs are about to expire then those two uh, vaccine i mean uh, formulations are uh, two drugs are combined to make a new formulation which sells at much, much higher uh, price for example uh, the, the brufen and uh, paracetamol both have anti inflammatory um, they both are anti inflammatory 
and they are cheaper when you combine them it uh, becomes a combi flame and it sells at a much higher play, uh, uh, price and also it has an adva ipr advantage so one would like to ask whether uh, uh, vaccines are also uh, joining the irrational uh, drug formulations and uh, another uh, uh, thing in which i would like to point out also there is uh, this uh, deliberate politics of language used to sell vaccines for example uh, pneumococcal vaccine is called anti pneumonia vaccine and uh, rotaviral vaccine is called anti diarrhea vaccine uh, but it doesn't uh, i mean protect all cases all uh, diarrheal cases or it doesn't protect all causes of pneumonia so in fact if it is would be ideal if we can, we have a combination vaccine which can uh, protect one single combination vaccine which can protect all diarrhea all causes of diarrhea but it is not uh, true so what uh, in another words what it means is there is a rationality crisis for combination vaccines therefore there is a legitimacy crisis and uh, recently we have also um, um, come to know that it is also a financial uh, crisis of financial specul speculation why supply push is becoming more desperate is uh, the cost of pentavalent vaccine you in uh, united states can come down only if it is adopted in uh, uh, the universal immunization programs of large countries like uh, india china and brazil the uh, industry compulsion of economies of uh, scale and the tendency to tra uh, uh, treat expansion of biopharma business as the best escape route from the drug discovery deadlock in the curative and synthetic medicines uh, even the loans and aids as marketing tools have to depend on advance market commitments of by gavi government guarantees and adoption or funding commitments from donors as speculative loans from markets mm, uh, uh, and uh, gavi is also funds um, inter i mean uh, helps countries to introduce uh, new vaccines in their immunization programs but if you look at the gavi's financial mo model it is a unsustainable model uh, because it uh, again uh, the gavi's own funds are dependent on loans raised by international uh, <coughs> financing for immunization which in turn depends on policy commitment of large countries like india and uh, which is uh, which, which 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 is a circular uh, 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 i mean uh, 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 not argument i mean circular process i mean one uh, thing leads to another thing anyway the chain breaks i mean it collapses so i mean uh, see i mean the whether one has to see if uh, gavi's aid and uh, world bank loans are inducements to push vaccines in such a manner so i would say are vaccines uh, driving speculative biopharma boom as, as the best insurance against synthetic pharma boom just 5 minutes so i i mean this is the economic issues and uh, other issues i have mentioned but uh, about the benefits is there a benefit of our combination vaccine Uh, there is a lit lot of literature available about the safety and uh, efficacy concerns of combination vaccines uh, i mean if anybody needs i can give safety concerns were raised for all many other new vaccines pneumococcal rotavirus vaccine was banned in us because of uh, intersusception and uh, recently uh, many of you are aware of uh, hpv vaccine uh, unethical trials they were halted Uh, and whole uh, i mean even for swine flu vaccine the and other uh, safety were mentioned in i mean they are you they come in everyday news now uh, sorry and emerging international factors also tend to influence uh, like uh, um, who pre qualification uniform standards uh, tend to in dealing vaccine policies uh, national vaccine policies aid politics also are uh, i mean increasingly one vaccine fits all one uh, policy fits all one practice fits all becoming the ideology of public health while other uh, uh, 
measures lag behind also scientific and economic rationality is taking back seat so i mean the, in the current context the action on the ground is there is a pil uh, against uh, public sector un uh, unit suspension in supreme court there is also another pil in on pentavalent vaccine in high court there uh, i mean on uh, hp vaccine the campaign is going on even uh, there is growing critique on opb failure and its future action and we need what we need is a consolidation of vaccine policy stakeholders and we try to formulate and a formulation of evidence based policy which we did uh, uh, in, uh, by organizing a vaccine uh, workshop in 2009 along with icmr nistats has organized and we pub published uh, this uh, paper outcome of the workshop anybody is interested can uh, take a copy or kept outside thank you